Hi Pisces. Welcome to your season. So as you can tell, I didn't make the all signs video. And if you follow my Instagram at the quietest revolution, you saw part of the Libra video where I expressed very honestly that I have been a bit tired um, and perhaps even a bit burnt out the past couple of months. I've hidden it well, but perhaps not so well. I'm happy to report that I'm feeling a lot better. Perhaps sharing it with you is all I needed to do. Sorry, your all signs video didn't make it through. The Emperor. Yeah, Pisces season is all about tying up loose ends so you can begin again in Aries season. How very apt for a Pisces to make their own season about taking care of everyone else and how their feelings relate to everyone else. So it's all about taking what you felt, what you learned, what came up during the retrograde and after the 18th of March, using it to build a new life, a new love, perhaps a new love based on an old love, perhaps a new love based on an old love that used to be quite toxic. But now after the retrograde, it's like you've figured some stuff out and you may want to try again, Pisces. Try again where once you failed Try again where once you thought there was great love and great potential and it turned out to be a huge disappointment, but somehow it nags at you because there was love there. There was. And there was so much pain, so much lying, so much degradation, so much abandonment and so much chaos and pain because of it. So how can you now be drawn to something that was this or something that reminds you of this, but it seems so healthy, it seems so good for you, it seems like it could last a very long time and be very serious. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty accurate astrologically for what you have going on. The loose ends have to do with places where your intuition was right on and yet you feel that things went so wrong. Like I knew and I knew how I felt and I knew what was going on, but how did it all get away from me? I'm not sure. Now you come into March with this feeling inside you of like, I can do this. I can, I know now what happened back then. I can tackle either that exact specific relationship again or something that reminds me deeply of it. But this time, instead of being hurt, I find my value, I find love, I find future, I find commitment. What a strange turnaround it is. But you do have Jupiter meeting Pluto really close. You have the retrograde ending. You have between the 24th and the 20, the 22nd and the 24th to make this group of energies a reality, right? Up until then, you will be still processing as we leave the shadow of the retrograde by the 18th. You'll be going back and forth in your head. Could it be? Am I really? Really? Is that? Uh, what's wrong with me? Why am I even and then the opportunity strikes and you are able to take advantage of it. Hi Pisces, welcome to the second part of your reading. Jeez, am I sorry this has taken so long, but as you know, 
events have taken a turn and most of the planet is now under a self-imposed isolation. Denmark has decided to, in, uh, for lack of a better term, quarantine itself. I made it in the night before it was declared. So thank God uh, I got in and I'm here with my child. Uh, so at least for the next three months, life can go back to somewhat normal when it comes to the videos. Uh, because I'll be in one place and uh, hopefully not sick and uh, not worried to death uh, about my child. So here we are. Pisces, nothing major was happening until we're approaching Aries season. Most of what you've been dealing with until then is rooted in sentimentality and prepping for the season that comes next. There is a very toxic relationship here that you have been mulling over, perhaps not indulging in, perhaps not wanting to get back into, but there are things that you needed to learn that at the time the relationship happened, you didn't learn. And so for it to come back around with a vengeance like it did during the retrograde has been uh, somewhat brutal, but also very enlightening. The period of shadow that we're in now from retrograde is a bit more dicey in that you're not just reflecting now. It's about movement. Now it's about doing the thing. Now it's about prepping for the 18th to the 22nd and seeing where the tower moments in your life have led to extreme growth, uh, an increase in your self-esteem, an ability to, you can always tell when people are lying, it's not that, but an ability to see why those lies were necessary, why that pain was necessary, why the humiliation degradation was even necessary because you were so incredibly far from what you really want to be and from what you really deserve. Now, if that person up here is a Taurus, especially, the extreme between the, the heart flutters and the heart ache has been really, really jarring for you. This is someone who has existing issues self-indulgent issues, self-indulgence issues, to be fair. They're not really related to anything else, but there is also here with this earth sign the chance that there is someone else in the picture and it's someone that they have a kid with. So they're very turned around right now. They don't really know what to do. It's not that the love isn't real, but it's just what they would have to sacrifice for it. And that sacrifice ends up happening regardless of if they want it or not. And they end up moving out of that situation. But really, does it matter to you if they've been lying? I don't think it does. Now let's move to the exciting part. So as we reach the end of the shadow, really positive energy starts to flow in for you because you have just reset your mind when it comes to the relationship between pleasure and pain and the tragedy and the benefit. I think if it hadn't gotten so tragic, you would never be able to see how incredibly bad it was for you. I also think that it's easier to judge the good when you've known the bad. It's very promising to go from a 10 of swords to a 10 of wands. Things are turning around and they're turning around in a way that I think during Mercury retrograde, it seemed almost impossible that it would happen that way that you could love someone else, that you could move forward, that you could have a different or a new life. And then boom, we get into this week coming up and things are moving and they're moving fast and they're based in love and all the tower moments and 10 of swords and everything that's couched in between doesn't seem so relevant anymore. Also a very Pisces mindset. No, now we move into a very promising period that culminates in great joy, whether it be the finishing of a project or a wedding, a marriage, a baby. It is the coming to fruition of something that you have worked and worked and worked for and the beginning of a new thing that you can work and work and work for and get exactly what you want. 
in terms of career, there have been some hiccups where you weren't quite as true to yourself as you should have been, where you didn't assert yourself when you should have, and that may have caused quite some turmoil in your life, just internal, but you also have to remember that the retrograde was in your sign. There wasn't much motivation there. You know, sometimes it really just does come down to the astrology of it. And now you have a chance to redeem yourself. And I would go so far as to say that sometimes Pisces like to do the thing so they can redeem themselves because the redemption is so sweet, complete, pleasurable. And that's the time period you find yourself in now. A very pleasurable time period with great opportunity, with closeness, with friends, with family, with love. And just an overall feeling of enormous worth within yourself, a, a, a wealth of spirit, let's say. All right, let's get right into this extended, huh? Let's see what happens in the rest of March. Love you.